Hi, good morning. I'm doing a tutorial today. Trying, I'm drawing Laurence Olivier from his role in Wuthering Heights. And I'm just kind of thinking about that movie this morning. <coughs> I'm talking about it. Um, I'm not really too concerned with getting a real good likeness to Laurence Olivier because um, Laurence Olivier in this movie, Wuthering Heights, really did not get a very good likeness to Heathcliff, in my opinion. And that's because he was, you know, he was white and Heathcliff's not a white character. So that's just kind of an interesting thing about the book. Not important for the tutorial though. Now I'm trying to get this cheekbone right. So let's look at what we're doing. Try to get it right, okay? Oh, just, okay. We're going to look at the two together now. Three quarters of you, so the nose comes right about even with the cheek. Maybe a little higher. He's in about like this. And it's basically, you could call this a triangle. Yeah, you could call that a triangle. If you can call this person a dark-skinned gypsy of India, the country origin, then you can say this is a triangle because that's who Heathcliff was. He was very dark-skinned and he was originally from India. He was a, we called him a gypsy. And then they made a movie where he was completely white. So. I think they changed the meaning of the movie by making it that way. But there's no question that uh, Laurence Olivier is a very good actor. Very good. Um, one of my favorites, really. Never really was in any of my favorite movies, but that's because this movie, he, um, Wuthering Heights, they picked Merle Oberon to be in it to be Catherine, and I never liked that choice. Now I'm kind of drawing so you can see. I'm drawing, this is a very unusual way for me to draw, but I'm, I gotta tell you, I'm just very relaxed about this one. It's not a commission. I don't care if it ends up looking like Laurence Olivier. I just wanted to draw Heathcliff. And I'm hoping that this video will inspire you to check that book out, Wuthering Heights. It's truly great. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Okay, so we're getting it right there. This is just the eyebrows come up like this. It's gonna be a uh, going to come up like this. See this? I'm just holding it so that you can see what I'm drawing. You can see if I'm getting it right. But again, like I said, I don't care this time so much. Just having fun. Okay, there's the lid, eyelid. Let's put, put it, make room for it here. Laurence Olivier is a very talented actor, married to Vivian Lee. Scarlet from Gone with the Wind. That was a well cast character. Scarlet in Gone with the Wind was perfect casting.
kind of drawing upside down in a way. And you can really kind of see the process, so that's good. She needs to come up. This will be dark. Okay, it has to come out more dark back here. Now, this guy is very chiseled features. Very easy to draw. Could draw him upside down. That's how easy to draw he is. When someone has these defined chiseled features like this, it really is easy. Makes it easy to find where to put the lines. You can almost see Lawrence Olivier start to come out here. Almost. Looks are so important in an actor. I mean, they really are, because they give the look of the character, right? Upper lip here, upper lip in shadow. The lighting is perfect in this shot because of the photo. Um, shape of the face a little off, but it'll change. That'll change. Okay, now the lower lip. What a handsome face. Very chiseled. Very chiseled. Okay, I've got the basics of them down. Um, and I'm gonna be changing it. But I just wanted to put the basic features in. Okay, knock that over. Um, now I'm gonna darken this part a little bit. Just darkening. Darkening makes a huge difference, you know. There's the amount of darkness you put in really helps shape the image to the eyes. Because remember, you're lying to the eyes. You're really just trying to deceive the unconscious perceptions that a person, that any person who uses their eyes has. Gonna, first I'm gonna brush it, then I'm gonna use the blending stick. I, I like that process better. I don't know why, but I just, I like it better somehow. Do all the blending I can with the brush first. I just, I like the overall look when I use that technique a little better. You tell me what you think. You can tell me in the comments. I welcome feedback in the comments. I'm going to put some shadows in the face here. We're going to run out of time now. 
So I'll do the rest of these in some mini shorts.